the Battle of Jericho and Armageddon. And the other night, I, it, whatever, whatever it was, it was certainly not a vision. I don't know if I started thinking about it or if it was started from a dream. Uh, but it's a questionable enough thing. It could be just rolling in from my head, which doesn't really mean that much. You know, if it comes from on high, then that's great. Um, but I can't say that it does, and that's why I actually waited an entire day before doing this video. The Battle of Jericho was the first battle they did as they, after they crossed the Jordan River. The Battle of Armageddon should be the first battle we do after we cross the Jordan River. Are they going to be dealt with the same? And the answer to that, and what I mean by that is this. The army for Armageddon is there. Do we go and march around it seven days straight? And on the seventh day, blowing the trumpets, Messiah comes down? Um, and that I don't know. Now, the other interesting thing is how many people actually were warriors at the Battle of Jericho? And it was 40,000. Now, that's not Torah, that's Joshua. But I could see that being the same number for Armageddon that do the battle, and people would say, well, they've got two million. We got the Creator and the Messiah. We don't need diddly. Um, you know, one person with a cleanup crew could take care of the whole thing. He's doing all the heavy lifting. We're just doing cleanup. Um, but that's an interesting issue. You know, is it possible that we would march around that army seven times to basically, you know, with the Ark of the Covenant, uh, one of those statements, we have no fear of you. And you can imagine their mindset is just crumbling at that point in time. It's just, again, it was something that came to me the other night. Could have been a dream, could have just been my own mind. Um, and something to think about.